After their arrival in King's Landing, Elaria and her lover, Prince Oberon Martel, head to one of Littlefinger's brothels. Oberon examines three whores while Elaria lies on the bed, asking her which one she would like. She says that she doesn't want a timid one and he eventually finds one to her liking. When Olivar calls Elaria, my lady, she calls him out for using a lie to address her and tells him to call her what she is, a bastard. When Oberon hears men singing the reigns of Castamir in the next room, Elaria tries to stop him but can only watch as Oberon takes out his rage on the Lannister men-at-arms. She proceeds to passionately kiss him as Tyrion Lannister and Bronn enter the room seeking Oberon. Elaria and Oberon attend Joffrey's wedding, where she is introduced to Tywin Lannister and Cersei Lannister. Cersei subtly mocks her bastard status, instigating a debate over the cultural differences between the Dornish and the rest of Westeros. During this conversation, Oberon makes a subtle comparison between the Lannisters' ill treatment of Elias' children and the Myrtles' exemplary treatment of Cersei's daughter. She and Oberon later witness the poisoning of King Joffrey. In the days following Joffrey's death, Elaria and Oberon again visit the brothel. On this occasion, Elaria is serviced by Moray and another woman. Elaria steals a kiss from Olivar, who apologizes and says he simply hasn't developed the taste for women. Elaria soothes Oberon's anger at the suggestion that she is an acquired taste, by reminding him that this means he has Olivar to himself. Elaria leaves when Lord Tywin unexpectedly shows up and asks to meet privately with Oberon, but says that Oberon need only call if he needs her. During Tyrion's trial by combat, Elaria, in spite of having heard tales of the mountain for years, is somewhat disturbed to see exactly how large he really is, expressing with disbelief. Just before the battle, she pulls Oberon into a passionate kiss and warns Oberon not to leave her alone in the world. Elaria watches with Tyrion from the sidelines and is delighted when it looks like Oberon has won. When Oberon demands that Gregor confess his crimes before he dies, he meets Elaria's eyes and she nods approvingly. Her delight turns to shock and horror when the mountain trips Oberon by the foot and punches him in the face, knocking out many teeth in the process. The mountain then pressed his fingers onto Oberon's eyes and crushes his skull, at which she can do nothing but scream.